Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine here, here with you getting ready to do your reading. That's right, Valentine's Day reading. How special is that? Yeah, I decided to, to run a train on all the zodiac signs. <laughs> just for Valentine's Day. So I'm just running through them all today for y'all, okay? I didn't mean that in that kind of way, but you know what I'm saying? I'm the commander-in-chief of this train, and I'm running it. So, that's what I gotta say. So let's get into your reading here, okay? So we got... Scorpio Sagittarius, welcome, come on in, kick your feet up, grab your coffee, whatever you got to drink, snacks, all that included, um, because we're going to do the cusp of revolution, that's right, so your birthday was November 18th through the 24th, you were part of that revolution, all right, so let's get into your reading, Ryan Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for like, share, subscribe, and your comments, noobs, brand new, you're a newbie, new person, we call you noobs. The terminology get used to it the only way to avoid that is become part of the divine family hit the like button and subscribe let's get into it okay so light seekers tarot deck and let's um, get into your energy now okay so it's for the present nothing in the past or the future i don't predict or forecast you know what i'm saying i just give you the messages as they come okay so i'll lay two cards down and those two cards are duality that's your yin and your yang, positive and negative, right? Light and dark. And then once I lay those cards down, I will lay more cards out to tell you a story. Within that story will be your message. After that message, I'll lay two more cards down to close your energy out, to give you your outcome, your verdict, grand finale. You know what I'm saying? And so when you go out today to the grocery store, tell everybody about my channel. Appreciate that. Put it on your Facebook, put it on your Instagram, you know, promote my channel a little bit. Appreciate y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Okay, so here comes your first two cards, right? Okay. There's one, and then there's two. Okay, so that one first came out. Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Wow, look at you being left out in the cold. All bundled up, right? You're in the fetal position. So you're being wrecked at this, at this moment. And what I mean by wrecked is... Your mind is like, oh my God, you are just in this being left out in the cold. So that could be from a job, that could be from a relationship, um, but you're not feeling it for sure. Or if it's not you being left out in the cold, you're leaving someone out in the cold and you are um, restabilizing your mind, if that makes any sense. Right. I mean, Four Swords is like, you know, peace and, you know, you're like relaxing and you're chill, you know what I mean? But I don't see that with the Five of Pentacles. So let's uh, let's get into the first card of your story and get some clarity on this here. Energy, okay? Here we go. Judgment. Yeah, you call judgment on that shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, it's you leaving someone out in the cold. This is your energy. It's not you being left out in the cold because you're protecting, well, I should say, stabilizing your mindset. Uh, you are or have stabilized your mindset to, like, like and, like, change something, right? Change your stability. Uh, leave somebody out in the cold, for sure. And this is judgment. So this is your final answer, right? Okay. That's swell. Look at you, Queen of Swords, chopping heads off, right? You don't give a shit. You really don't. You could care less. You're just done. You you got your back towards the situation, and so once you've made up your mind to call judgment, that is it. There's no turn around. Yeah, done deal. Look at you now, King of Pentacles, sitting by yourself with your little dog, your little Toto, probably a Boston Terrier or some shit, <laughs> whatever. But uh, yeah, you're you're better off alone, uh, stable by yourself. You can run your own empire, no problem. You know what I'm saying? So. Always you need a little trusty friend. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Man, this is like a whippersnapper. It's coming right off. Look at you, Ten of Cups. Man, this is your happiness. So, yeah. Once you cut this shit off, turn your back on it, call judgment, you're good. Like I said, it could be a job. It could be a relationship. Um, kind of, well, stability anyways. Cutting off somebody's stability. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, you got wish fulfillment, right? Now you're happy. You're like, you can breathe. I can breathe again. There you go. Three pentacles. 
<clears throat> Interesting card, though. I'm going to get another card for clarity. It looks like you want to collaborate with somebody. Yeah. Or maybe you're just done being left out in the cold and you, you call judgment of that, so you're like snappy and ready to, you know, no, 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 it's the first way I had it. Right, so let's see what this one is. Ooh, that's interesting. Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups. I've never had those both come out like that back to back. Ooh, happy Valentine's Day. Beautiful presents, right? <laughs> okay, so here you go. Three and three is six. Six is persevering. Cups and your pentacles. So stability, all about some emotional stability, right? But here is like you, you have you want to collaborate with somebody, you want to celebrate, right? You wanna you wanna join forces with somebody. Collaboration is at hand after this dismissal of leaving somebody on the cold for real. Bam, there you go. Heartache, heartbreak. But you know what? No. It's like you're you're um you're celebrating that the heartbreak is over. Yes, because judgment is here. Judgment on the table for anything is an ending for shit. So you've you you wanna you're happy being single and being this king of pentacles, right? But here it's like you want to collaborate with somebody and so you can celebrate the ending of this heartache because it's not affecting you right because over here you're all curled up in a ball and now here you're like celebrating you're like willing to take this um exploration this journey because you're kind of happy that it's over right and so here you go finding your peace and balance right so you're harmony right so you're harmonized your emotions are good you're kind of like it's almost like you're relieved of this heartbreak that could have been very disastrous but it's not because you are wanting to collaborate wow because there's no way you can have the ten of cups with your ultimate happiness and emotional fulfillment it's wanting to collaborate and you know have the heartbreak come out like that and then the temperance card after in a way it is definitely you are kind of rejoicing in this leaving somebody out in the cold calling judgment to that shit you're, you're done with it and it never fails <laughs> every single shuffle so far every reading I've dumped cards out dumped them out just ejected like a pilot 15,000 miles an hour just shoot me out captain hell no I get sick just going on one or two G's. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's give this a good whirl. Look at the Empress card coming out. Boom. That's what you have your eyeball on. Yes, Scorpio, Sagittarius is. You guys definitely have your eye on the Empress. Yeah, because you found this peace and balance. This, this harmony within yourself to just look at this heartbreak as like nothing but you can now celebrate the victoriousness of it because you cut it off you left it out in the cold right so you like shut it off before it broke your heart that's what I'm saying and so now you are eyeballing the empress you got eyes for the empress do you look at that you want a passionate new beginning with that shit I mean I can't lie I'm not last two cards to the outcome here comes the ending of this story ah look at that five of cups well it's like you're sulking right five of cups you like sulking and you want this new start because see it's on the, the five of cups is underneath the three of pentacles so you want to collaborate but you're sulking in this because you're not sure still because you're still trying to find the balance within yourself if this new start's going to take off with this empress hello auto tune <laughs> that, that bitch just rolled off my tongue so good didn't it all right here we go we'll take that Bam, look at that, seven of swords. So you can overcome this, right? Just take the higher ground, raise your vibration, right? 
fend off all the bullshit that you're kind of going through and don't relive the past, right? Soaking, you can get over your soaking. This is what it's really saying. Because then... The Ace of Pentacles and the Empress back to back like that. That's a new passionate star of the Empress like all day long. So keep your balance. Keep that harmony within yourself because the Empress embodies har har harmony and unconditionalness and nurturing and motherness, motherliness, right? First card of your outcome. <laughs> Here comes a divine Uber. Whack! Cherry card. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pulling up to the curb because the divine just dropped that bitch off for you. So get in it because your new start's right there. New start, chariot, right there. It's being dropped off from the divine. So thank you. Say your prayers. Say amen. Be grateful. I do every day. Whack, there you go. That's your hope. That's your wish. That's your dreams. That's everything you want. Happy Valentine's Day, my friends. That is for you. That is delicious. So great with ending whatever you did, leaving that shit out in the cold, and taking a chance on wanting to explore, getting past your heartbreak, or that could have been, finding a balance to want to make a very passionate new beginning start with this Empress. So don't soak, because you can get over this past kind of energy. Just focus on your, your goal, and uh, the chariot will pull up before you even know it, because that's what you're hoping and wishing for. Come and get it! That's been your reading, my friends. So, with that being said, have a very, 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 very wonderful Valentine's Day. Don't eat too much chocolate and try not to eat, don't eat the flowers. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some you can, but <laughs> not the roses. Anyways, with that being said, happy Valentine's Day. Peace and prayer.